I am Sangonomiya Kokomi, the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island. My journey with you will be an opportunity to unwind. Uh, <coughs> I mean, to survey beyond our borders. Don't worry, I have left behind ample directives in my absence and have also completed the island's projected development plans. Departing for a brief period will be of little consequence. The battlefield is unpredictable. One false move could mark utter defeat. Before the onset of battle, I bring every possible scenario into consideration and turn my thoughts into written directives. These are then issued to the troops. Hmm. It does seem at present like they're somewhat over-reliant on the directives, which worries me. If they read up on military strategy themselves, they could begin to rely on their own ability to read the battlefield. I need them to be able to identify and seize opportunities in the heat of the moment. Mm, I hope we can put an end to this battle quickly. The Yaya Publishing House has just released a new volume of A Legend of Sword. Ugh, I'd like nothing more than to curl up with a copy in my room and read it front to back. Among Yaya Publishing House's various publications, my personal favorite is the Tevat Art of War. See, it has articles on classic military campaigns as well as detailed analysis and commentary from famous strategists. There are a few that I particularly enjoy. Here, let me read them to you. The world below water is not bright and sunny like that of dry land. Still, whenever I lend myself to the deep, my heart gradually fills with a permeating sense of peace. Fish move in faraway shoals, jellyfish dance around me, and my troubles start to simply wash away. Hmm. I could take you to see it sometime. What do you think? No matter how pressing the situation may become, I must remain composed. If I let the stress get to me, then what can I expect from others around me? Legend has it that our ancestors lived in a palace in the depths of the ocean, and that the god, Orobashi, brought us to the surface. I've often wondered, wouldn't a palace like that be too dark? Every time I think about it, I start to really appreciate the light. After you left, the soldiers of Swordfish 2 nominated a temporary captain. But everyone was hoping that you'd return. I could only tell them that you'd been tasked with an important solo mission. If you get the chance, you should go visit them. I'm sure they'd love to see you. A long time ago, I had no intention of becoming the Divine Priestess. My only goal was to study military strategy and become an advisor. That way, I could remain behind the scenes and lessen my overall burden. Ah, oh, fate had other ideas in store. You can't defy that which flows in your veins. After becoming the Divine Priestess, I gradually grew accustomed to this life. At the very least, I have the power to change something when it doesn't sit well with me. Well, more importantly, this title allowed me to meet you. Did it not? Huh? What do I enjoy? Simple. I like to find a quiet place by myself and read books on strategy. <sighs> the whole day. Without interruption. Well, I'd be even happier if we looked over some of it together. Uh, um, one thing though. You'd have to sleep on the floor. To be quite honest, I'm not particularly skilled at communicating with others. Putting on my Divine Priestess airs certainly makes things easier, but once I run out of energy, I start to get a bit negative. I prevent others from seeing that side of me at all costs. The people of Watatsumi Island need a perfect leader, not some girl who likes to while away her time at home. I just love eating bird egg sushi. The ingredients are easy to find, and it's simple to prepare. Ugh, 
perfect for military life. Sitting down to eat bird egg sushi in the midst of war might seem a bit extravagant, but in most cases, simple food like this brings great satisfaction to the soldiers. Mm. If I had to say, I'm not fond of any sort of seafood, but please, keep this strictly confidential. The fishing industry is essential to Watatsumi Island, and if word were to get out that seafood wasn't my thing, I'm afraid morale would be gravely affected. <laughs>